All right, guys. So in order to use an animation pack, uh, they don't always come this way, but if they do come where it creates a new project, then this is the process that you would use to do that. So the first thing I did was I went to window and I loaded my classic layout. It's just the way I like to do it. Personal preference, right? Like everybody does things a little bit different. And then there is a demo folder in here with the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. It is my opinion that you should continue to use this skeleton and mannequin when you're creating your project. It just goes to make things way easier on you, okay? But the first thing you wanna do in this new project is you wanna go to add, add feature content pack, click on third person and hit add to project. And I'm gonna tell you why here in a second, but once you've done that, you can hit cancel it's going to add the information that you need in here. The first thing you're going to do, though, is go in here and you're going to delete this folder here that's called characters. You're going to completely delete it. It'll take a little bit of time because it does have to go through and like grab all of this stuff. But just go through there and hit force delete. At this point, I would go to file and hit save all. Go back to your third person blueprint, open it up. You'll see you don't have a camera in here anymore, but you can go in here and you can click on the SK mannequin and he is now right there in front of you. If you compile and you can save that, you'll see there's no other errors, but we are missing our animation blueprint. Okay. So in order to do this properly, we're now going to drag this up here. We need to create that animation blueprint. So we're going to go to animation and click on blueprint, click on the skeleton, create it. And I'm just going to call this Samurai Anim BP. We're going to right click and create a state machine. Plug that in and then we're going to put a slot in between because at some point we're going to want to use montages to do our attacks. Don't know if we're going to cover that in this tutorial, but I wanted that to be there. And now if we go into this state machine, we have all of our animations here on the side. I'm going to type in idle 02, whoops, just idle, I guess. And I'm looking for idle 02. So that's idle one and then idle two. All right. So if I click that like that. I can now click off the entry here to the idle. And if I hit compile, our character now is correct. Back in our third person, we can now select that Samurai animation blueprint and you can see it updates there. On your character, click on add and I believe, I don't know if it's under skeletal or static. Uh, yep, nope, it's gonna be under static. So on your mesh, click on static mesh. At some point, I would make it into a skeletal one, but for this, it's not a big deal. And just type in Katana. And we're going to open up the parent sockets. And you've got some Katana sockets here. And if you click through them, it just depends on the position that that Katana is in is all that it is. So that one there is sheathed in its hand like the Baka. So, whoops, wrong one. So let's try Katana number three. And there it is. It is now in his hand, just like the demo should be. And it's a white katana um, at the moment, but you could go in here and change the color of this to something like a red color, like a dark red maybe, just so that it looks a little better than white because I find that the white kind of blends in with the surrounding areas a little bit more than I would like. So the next part that we're going to do is we're going to go to file and click on new level, go to basic and hit create. We are going to drag our player start out. If you hit play, nothing will happen. And that's because we need to go to the world settings. So if you go to window, you can click world settings over here, click on the third person game mode, drop this little button down here. And yep, it did already do that, so that's good. If you hit save, right, 
we can now go into the Samurai Demo Maps and just save over the demo map. Now each time you close the project out and open it back up, you need to go to Edit Project Settings, Maps and Modes, Editor Startup Map, we want it to be the Demo Map Samurai, and the Game Default Map, same thing, Demo Samurai. Close out of that. If you hit Play, your character is now in the world. If you move, he does not move with you, however. So we now need to correct that. So the first thing that we are going to do is create that animation blueprint for being able to go forward. So the first thing that we need to do is right click and go to animation. And we are going to click on blend space. Click on your mannequin, and I'm going to call this idle to run. And I'm going to go ahead and name this speed. Whoops, did I put enough E's in there? I, did, I, can't, I can't tell. Yeah, I did. Okay. And we're going to put our character's maximum running speed. So the default for Unreal Engine is 600. I find that the animations are not quite on that level, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So we'll put 600 in here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type in idle. And if we find that idle to animation, which is right here, I'm going to keep it here on this side. And then I'm going to type in run forward. We have a bunch of different ones in here, okay? Like run um, guard, run, IPC, all kinds of them. But the one we're looking for is does not have the guard in front of it. It's this one right here. It's called Run Forward IPC. I'm going to hold down Shift, and on the same where the idle is, all the way at this end, because if you look down here, it says 600. That's for speed. I can hold Control, and I can see how it rotates over to that animation. So I'll save that. And now I'm going to drop my idle run in here, and I'm going to drop that there. Whoops, I should not have deleted that one. Let's do it again. Drop my idle run in here, drag it over, compile. And now I've got a speed variable here. What's cool about that speed variable is that I need to simply define how that's going to be. Okay. So in order to do that, we are going to go to the event graph. All right. And we need to do a couple of things here. Um, so there's the best way to do it would have been to use the uh, third person character information that we had, which would have been under like, you know, these animations with Manny and all that. But because all that is gone now, we need to create it ourselves. So this is what it's going to look like. So what I did here is I opened up another project. You could just start a brand new third person project. And I went into the Manny character and I grabbed all this information and I'm copying it. And I'm literally going over to the one that we are working on here, deleting these and pasting it here. Okay. So that you have all this information. Uh, from this point, if you were to hit compile, it's going to break. There's nothing here that's going to be helpful for you. So we need to go ahead and first thing we do is we need to click this and we need to click on promote this to a variable. It'll make this second one, but we can just delete that, I believe. And rename this to character and hit compile. And you'll see it fixes those. And then out of there, we need to promote this one to a variable. Okay. And we're going to rename that one so we're going to rename that one to what this one says which is movement component compile i'm not sure why that one is doing that but we can get rid of that bring it out here set it bring it up there hit compile so now over here you'll see whoops uh we don't have anything over there that has errors it's just starting here so we can get this movement component and plug it into here. 
delete the other one, compile that. And then we need to create this velocity one. So if we right click and hit promote to variable on that one, get rid of this, we can then pop that in there. Same thing, we got ground speed. So we're gonna right click promote to variable. And then this one here, we're going to rename to just speed. It doesn't have to be ground speed. And we'll get rid of this one. And we shall set it here to that. We need to drag speed over here. Get rid of that. Delete this movement component. Put this one in. Compile that. We've got a couple of more. We're going to promote this one here to a variable. Delete this, rename this to should move, compile again, and we will set this one here. We will connect these together, connect this to that, and then movement component, we will delete that one, put our other one in there. We're going to promote this to a variable, delete that, rename it here to is falling. We shall delete this one and we shall set this here, connect it both places, compile. We can then go back to our idle run state and we can simply drop our speed into here and hit compile again. Now when we play on our map, our character can walk all around and that is creating the basic very very basic but basic unreal engine blueprint but if you look it doesn't really look like he's moving at the right speed does it it kind of looks like his feet are skating on the floor just a little bit so one thing i like to do is i like to go over here to the walk speed uh under character movement and i'm going to show you this if you put this to 300 you'll see that for the way that the legs move, he just looks more realistic. I don't know why. So what you could do is instead put this at 600, which allows you to play the full speed of the animation there. See how much better that looks? But the default was at 500. And the second thing that I like to do, okay, I save that. If I go back to my idle run, and I've got my run forward animation here. If I double click on that, I can change the rate scale of this to two. And look, now when he runs, it actually looks like he's running like a more like a samurai would, kind of quick and snappy like. But that is how to create a really basic blueprint with an animation pack. From this point forward, we would need to set up directional movement so that he can go backwards, left, frontwards, all that, and it would kind of move with the character. And I will show you how to do that in another video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. And if you guys have not checked out this Samurai Animations Pack, you should, because it's really, really good. Thank you, and we'll see you guys in the next one.